Can I focus? Please? Me? There we go. Good morning, beautiful people. Actually, good new year, beautiful people. Uh, welcome back to another full day of eating. Today's gonna be bomb, like just so much. <clears throat> um, I'm about to have breakfast. You all, I was gonna say you all know what that is. Recently, I've been having a lot of persimmon, avocado toast, but you know I always start with a melon, so that's what's happening. But I will tell you that today is gonna be a bomb full day of eating, like a bomb bomb full day of eating. Nothing but the best kind of food. The light is making me look like an absolute ghost. I mean, you might be wondering why my hair is white, like actually white. I'm gonna explain that in a minute. Because that was like a whole catastrophe. Catastrophe. Um, I guess you could say. I'm going to make a thick, creamy, velvety, peanut butter hot chocolate in a minute. But first things first, you know I need my fruit. So, so yeah. Oof. Look at that. Beautiful. We're good. Let me not, hold on. I'm starting my day off with a peeled de sapo melon. Um, surprise, surprise. Um, actually, I guess it is a bit of a surprise recently because I keep telling you every single video that I'm so addicted to persimmon and that's what I've been eating like most mornings and a lot of them as well before I have like a hot breakfast, high protein breakfast, or just keep going like hardcore on the fruit. I would have thought by this point, considering it's cold now, I mean, it's been cold for months, but I thought that, like, usually in the winter, my cravings for fruit kind of just die down a little bit. But nah, like, right now. Um, and if I'm being honest, the only melons that continuously come through, because I did go through a cantaloupe phase as well, but the peeled de sapos, like, every time, well, at least nine times out of ten, sweet, crisp, just, mm, cheers. But the thing is, guys, the thing is, and I'm gonna to talk to you about this in a minute. Don't fuck around with bleach at home by yourself and think you can just leave it on your head for like two hours and the longer the better. Because you will end up looking like this. Even though I feel like I'm kind of pulling it off. Um, but if you knew how much I burnt my scalp, like, you have no idea. Let's just say many a jar of coconut oil has been applied to my head in the last few days because you have no idea. Seriously though guys, I just cannot get over the sweetness of these. And yes, when I crack open a melon, I always eat both halves before anyone asks again. So, cheers. By the way, if you can tell that I'm just like a bit, a bit more myself than I have been in months, it's because finally like the, the symptoms I was having of terrible withdrawal symptoms and stomach pain and all that, are finally like dying down. I feel like I can breathe again. It's just that like I was going through that for so long and I, I, I couldn't see the end. I'm getting a bit deep here, but, but yeah, Miles is on the mend and I am feeling so much better um, than I have done in months, thank God. Such a blessing to not be in pain 24 seven and to, I mean, I, I never stopped eating. I was still stuffing my face with copious amounts of food as always, but even with, even with food, you know, like when you're in pain, you just can't fully enjoy it. You can't fully enjoy anything, um, maybe apart from sex. And it's just such a blessing that now I'm gradually healing and feeling more back to myself. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is what it is. Beautiful. All right, so this is kind of a mix that I would often make as just a smoothie. In the summer, I would make it too, but maybe with frozen bananas, or I just wouldn't heat it up. You all know I love my thick protein shakes in the morning, or just whenever throughout the day. But yeah, with this mix, which originally is kind of like a peanut butter cup um, protein shake, we're just gonna blend it up like you usually would, and then heat it up, and trust me, it is... Like, you just can't make a hot chocolate better than this. And I'm not just talking like nutritionally-wise, because it's really healthy. But flavor wise, and it's also like a complete meal. So what I'm saying is grab yourself a mug, follow along and enjoy. All right, so to make this, we need a few dates. I would usually use like four or five dates, but these are huge medjool dates, which my 
dad actually gave me as a gift. If you're using smaller ones, maybe use like five or six. Quarter of a cup of hemp seeds. I always put these in my smoothies, omega threes, protein, make your skin glow, make you feel amazing. Lots and lots of thick, salted, crunchy peanut butter. I mean, you can use smooth or crunchy, it's gonna get blended anyway. A little bit of cacao powder. Some oat milk, you can of course use any plant milk of your choice. And of course, to make it a complete meal, I'm using a scoop of the dark chocolate ritual protein powder from Vivo Life. This is, I don't actually know what to say about it, it's just fucking amazing. Like I've said before about ritual, um, it's kind of the, it's, it's very similar to the ingredients that are in Perform, um, but they've just taken the things out which are kind of like, I don't know, a luxury, like the mushrooms, and the turmeric and stuff like that. So it's essentially a cheaper version, but the flavor is kind of like bumped up. This dark chocolate flavor is just, mm. The longer you blend it as well, the more kind of foamy it gets, and I'm all about the foam, so love that. <laughs> it's like a beautiful lake of chocolate. I mean, that's exactly what it is. With peanut butter. Peanut butter! It smells insane. Oh, right. So you just want to heat this low and slow. It's going to thicken slightly um, when it gets hot as well. I like my drinks extra, extra, extra hot. But, I mean, heat with caution. I'm trying to show you. Oh, look at that. There's a thumbnail right there. Beautiful. I'm going in because I have to have my drinks extra, extra hot. And if it gets like a tiny bit less than extra, extra hot, and if it's just hot, then I lose the plot. That rhymed. Cheers. Honestly guys, try this. Four ingredients, literally the best hot chocolate in the world. Okay, I need to speak quickly because I don't want to warm this up again. Uh, and I don't have a microwave. And even if I did, would I use it? Am I one of those kind of people? Am I not? Am I anti-vax? Am I not? I feel like you get judged for everything these days. Like if you use a microwave, you get shit. If you, I don't know, basically you always just get shit. And remember guys, this is not just a drink. This is actually a complete meal. It's very high in protein, lots of healthy fats, good quality carbohydrates kind of thing. I guess it's just like a very nutritious smoothie, but warmed up. I mean, that's exactly what it is, but it also tastes like the best hot chocolate of all time. So, cheers. Ooh. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. These green ones recently, like I always get the Haas avocados, avocados, but these green flesh ones are actually even more buttery when you get a good one. Just went to turn the oven on because I'm making lunch soon, but one thing I've been doing, I'm not a big snacker at all, um, but one thing I have been doing in between meals, um, just for the sake of eating even more um, than I usually do, is snacking on avocados in between meals, or just like while I'm waiting for a meal to make. You know I'm the kind of person that like, puts 437 condiments on all of my meals and really kind of like can overcomplicate flavors as well but I'm also the first one to admit that when you bring it back to basics and just eat really simple you really just like I don't know the pleasure of eating simple food one ingredient is just it's just magnified when you eat more simply but I thought now actually wait hold on that's a really good one Editing Miles popping in here, just wanted to say before the comments start again, I'm very well aware that I'm underweight right now for me personally. Um, and again, if you followed my journey over the last few months, there's a reason for that. Um, you know, I went through drug withdrawal and then dealt with multiple stomach ulcers back to back, actually simultaneously. In the last three, four months, my body has literally been going through hell. And I can honestly say that I'm damn proud of myself for the way that I fought through it. Um, and that I'm still here and this right now is just a new starting point for me so um, and yeah I'm only saying this just to clear up some confusion because on a lot of my last videos people have said oh my gosh like you're looking a lot leaner a lot more underweight than usual yes there's a reason for that it was not by choice um, 
I've been looking after my health the best way possible. And yeah, just bringing this up because you guys know in general, I really don't give any fucks what anyone thinks about me, but just because a lot of people might not understand where I've come from recently, what I've been through, just clearing that up for you. By the way, what's brighter, my hair or my hoodie? You guys probably are watching this with sunglasses on. Um, I pr should, probably should have put a disclaimer. But anyways, yeah, it's such a blessing to not be in such severe pain anymore, consistently. Um, and I'm gradually gaining back the weight that I need to, that I want to. But yeah, also with a metabolism as fast as mine, these things don't happen overnight. It's gonna take time. And yeah, love you all. Back to the video. Speaking of lunch, even though I wasn't speaking of lunch, um, I am, and wait for Ashley guys, because I feel like all 223,000 of you or whatever are gonna unsubscribe when I say this, but I have been craving rice and I know you're all thinking, Miles, you said that you would rather die than eat rice. Yes, I'm a hypocrite. I, for some reason, since I got sick last year, started craving things that I just wasn't craving before. Bread was one of them, went through a huge bread phase. Um, and now I'm craving either white sticky rice, like sushi rice, or short gain, short gain, short grain brown rice. See guys, if, I mean, if, if I'm craving rice, anything's possible. And so rude. I think I'm gonna go short, short, uh. So yeah, I'm gonna whip up some kind of bowl which involves short grain brown rice and lots of color, lots of nutrients. You know my typical kind of Buddha bowls, but instead of that starchy element that I usually get from like pumpkin or sweet potato, just craving rice, so I'm gonna honor that. I know, I know, I know, I'm the world's biggest hypocrite, but. A sprinkle of salt, a little bit of garlic infused olive oil. Currently, my favorite olive oil, it's usually basil. I've just chopped up some broccoli florets and some good bright orange organic carrots. I always emphasize organic carrots because they just taste better. Just a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic infused olive oil. Gonna roast these for about 20 minutes till they're nice and soft and caramelized. Who, whoa, who in the hell am I? Um, and where's the actual miles? I can't believe. Can't believe that I'm not only making rice on this channel, but I'm actually excited about it. I have actually secretly been craving it for the last couple of weeks. Um, but I thought this moment has to be documented, so I didn't do it off camera. Um, yeah. So yeah, rice is on. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually saying that. Um, the veggies are in the oven, and for the protein element, I'm gonna make some tofu. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. So I guess I'm using three appliances for this meal. Hob, oven, air fryer. Could have made this a lot more simple, but didn't really think about it that well. But anyways. These veggies are perfectly caramelized. Tender in the middle, crisp on the outside. Would you look at that? Beautiful, and who would have thought, who would have thought that I would be actually excited to eat rice? I don't know why I'm pretending that I'm gonna eat this whole bowl with chopsticks, because I'm not, but I was taking pictures for Instagram, so cheers. Together with the kimchi, mm. Mm. But the thing is though, Am I gonna have to go and like delete all of my old videos now where I've slated rice like it's the devil because I'm actually really enjoying this. Short grain brown rice is my new white flesh Japanese sweet potato. All right, a little close up of this beautiful bowl. Guys, I actually cannot get over how nice short grain brown rice is. This kimchi I use is the fresh kimchi from Waitrose. It's the best one I've ever tasted in the UK. This tomato and herb based tofu, which is perfectly crispy, 
Cucumber, I feel like with any kind of rice bowl, you have to have some cuke. Do you know what I mean? This broccoli has caramelized absolutely beautifully, so tender within, and then crisp on the outside. Again, just salt, pepper, little drizzle of garlic infused olive oil. Also, these carrots are really nice and caramelized. I very rarely roast carrots just because I eat them raw so much, just like dunked in tahini, peanut butter, hummus. Roasted like this, they are super sweet. Got the avocado, avocado. I put another whole avocado in here. Obviously, I had a half earlier as a snack as well. This is some pink fermented sauerkraut. And what else did I put on there? Oh, drizzle of sriracha, little drizzle of liquid gold, that good, good runny proper stuff and a sprinkle of black sesame seeds which i don't know i just felt like it went with the theme of the bowl anyways i'm gonna go apply to face and when i tell you that this nut butter review coming up is going to be a weird one cheers mm. mate those flavors <clears throat> All right, guys, today we are reviewing another crazy uh, creation from the brand Yamello, which you've seen me review a few of their nut butters, almond butters, peanut butters, all kinds of nut butters. Their salted date almond butter one is, lit I think, probably my favorite nut butter of all time. I picked this up because I was intrigued. Um, I don't think I'm going to like it, but it is Smoky Harissa peanut butter. Smoky Harissa Peanut butter. One would assume, well at least I assumed anyway, that because this is harissa, which when I think of harissa, I think of like Moroccan food, roasted chickpeas, that kind of shit, but not peanut butter. So I originally thought it was a savory one, but then I read the ingredients and roasted hyalic peanuts, dates, coconut oil, harissa spice, smoked paprika, chili sea salt. I assumed that this was gonna be savory, but I mean, the second ingredient is dates. So I mean, I'm a little bit confused. Oh god, it's fucking crunchy as well. The one thing I do love, actually I love everything about the Yamelo ones previously, Yamelo, 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 um, is that they're very, very churnable as you can see. I mean that is pretty runny for, for a crunchy one. Cheers. I really, really do not know what to make of that. This is really weird, really weird. Originally, it just tasted like regular peanut butter. It's not even that sweet, even though there's dates in it. Um, but then I just persisted and like swallowed. Then there's like a big chili kick, some kind of spicy kick, which you don't see coming and you don't really understand. And you also don't appreciate with peanut butter. I'm sorry, I just don't want chili hot spices in my peanut butter. I actually have no fucking idea what you do with this. Maybe you could throw it in a curry, like a coconut curry. That, that it probably would work with. Yeah. What are we doing, babe? You gonna swim? These crazy people, <laughs> my girlfriend and my best friend, are actually going in the sea and it's like... Zero degrees. Zero, zero, literally like zero degrees. In fact, no, is it two degrees today? No, it was actually zero in the Okay, car. it's actually zero degrees yeah. and they're going in the sea. I'm not because... Yeah, because... I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you guys reckon you can stay in there? Oh, for five, right? Five. Yeah, five. five minutes? Yeah. I'd rather go in a microwave for five minutes. <laughs> guys, five million pounds. I would not be in there. I'm legit freezing my balls off just watching them.